Okay, continuing our previous video where we generated post based on the user's input in this video, we're going to go ahead and now take that same generated post and put it on Facebook automatically. So watch this. So here's our test Facebook page. It's called Pet Nexus AI. It is on Facebook right now, actually. You can see we haven't posted anything since August 14th. So let's go back to our agent that we built. The whole point is we're going to get an input from the user. They're going to ask us for a niche. Basically, we can type in whatever we want. And based on that niche, the agent's going to generate a post and it's going to use GBT 4.0 to generate a Facebook page based on the niche you asked it to do. And then the next step, which is new in this particular workflow, is we're going to take that same text and post it to the Facebook page. So let's go ahead and test this out. Test your agent and it says, please enter your niche. So for this one, we'll just say pet products, for example, hit enter. And now we have a post. So discover premium pet products quality with a hashtag in there. Great. And then it says, what, how can I help you today? And we'll say now post to Facebook. And it takes about for a second and then says your post has been successfully published to Facebook. Here's what was shared. And then the post itself, if you need to make another post or want to share something else, just let me know. And let's go to Facebook and verify, refresh. And there's our post right there. Posted just now, discover premium pet products, same concept. Now we can do many things where we can extend this post, for example, make it a longer post. We can come into text generation back here. And you see we had the text length as small. We can now go big, hit save, and then test it out again and test your agent and let's say pet toys in this case and then go and now the big post is actually quite big very nice and let's say now post to facebook and then it says successfully published okay let's go to facebook hit refresh and there's our post over here now so you can see in high level you can offer the service of managing somebody's social media and now you can just have an agent generate the text and post it to their page and you can do this as many times as you want in high level, they charge you based on generation. So we will see what that invoice is going to be for me. So now let me show you how to build this node for yourself. If you are an affiliate member of mine, you get this workflow for free included in the snapshot. I help you build your agency and get profitable, hopefully before your trial even expires. But if you just want to copy this and give it a trial, I'll show you exactly how to build this. Watch this. So once you've set up your high level, you've used my affiliate link to set up your account. Go ahead and create a sub account. In this case, I have this one. Then on the left side, go to AI agents and then up here, agent studio. These are all the templates that we have already. You get this included in your snapshot when you first sign up with me. And then in this case, we're going to create a new agent. So let's hit the blue button. We'll give our agent a name. So I said generate and post on Facebook is the name. This agent generates a long post and then automatically posts to your Facebook page. Hit create agent. And now we jump into our dashboard. So the first thing we need is a user input to pick which niche we're going to generate this post for. And so on the left side, we go ahead and grab text input. Let's drag that over. And capture text is nice and descriptive. We'll leave that as is. Please enter your niche is what I like to put. And then whatever the user input, it's going to get captured in a variable. So we want this variable to be descriptive. So I like to put inputs underscore niche. Leave the minimum and maximum length. We know it's going to be within that and then hit save. So now we have a first node, which means we're going to capture an input from the user. We now have to use this input to then generate a Facebook post based on that input. So for that, we talk about text generation. So we're going to grab this node, put it over here. We'll leave the name as is text generation for the prompt. We're going to go ahead and put generate a post about the industry and the runtime variable is pulled in from here. So hit the drop down runtime variables and then it's going to be this first one, which is input underscore niche because that's the one we just created. It's going to automatically populate that here within the two curly brackets on each side. And then we say so I can post it on the company's Facebook page and then the variable name. Go ahead and leave that as is. And then GPT-4.1 is the model we're using in this case. And then the post we want, the text length we want is big and then save. And now we have our second node. And then the last piece of this workflow that actually puts the post on Facebook is an API call. So this is the new feature right here. Let's go ahead and grab that API call and then place it over here at the end. Now, high level says to make this descriptive because the AI needs some context. 
So we're going to go ahead and say, make external web request to post the generated text to Facebook via API. That gives the AI the enough context in order to understand what we're trying to accomplish. Okay, so now for this next part, which is probably going to be the most complicated part of this workflow, is to get our page ID of where we're posting this. And then also the token, which gives us the authority to go ahead and post to that page because we don't want just anybody to be able to post to our page. Now the URL you're going to paste in here is broken down like this. We need two items here, the page ID, which is going to go right here, including replacing the braces and then our token, which gives us the authority to go ahead and paste to that page ID, which is going to go right here. The rest of the URL is going to look exactly the same. And we're going to paste all of that in this field right here. And because this is going to be a post, that means we are pushing data to Facebook. We're going to change this to a post. So now let's see where we get that piece of information. The first part is very simple. Just go to the Facebook page you want to paste at. You must be an admin of this page and go up to the URL and everything after the equal sign in the ID is the ID itself. So for me, it's going to be the 615 number all the way to 20 at the end. So I'm just going to copy that as so. Control C, bring it back to my notepad and then Control V. I now have my ID, which is the first part. I can actually go ahead and put this in my URL, Control V. And now I have the ID part of my page where I'm going to post this. Next, I need the access token. For this part, Facebook requires you to build an app essentially and then give permissions to that app in order to do certain actions within your Facebook account. So you're going to come over here to developers.facebook.com forward slash apps. And then on the top right, you're going to say create app. And then you're going to follow the simple wizard. It's five steps. You just give it the name, contact email, give it the use case of what you're trying to accomplish. Say, I'm trying to post to my Facebook page, put your business information, the requirements that you have, and then It'll give you an overview and then you confirm. And if you find some trouble in that, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I'll do a full walkthrough tutorial on how to build apps. But once you create one, it's going to show up in your list here. If it's your first one, you may just have one app over here. Go ahead and click into it. Once you have an app, you can now access Graph API Explorer. You go to Tools and then Graph API Explorer. That lands you on this page. So over to the right, you have your meta app. The one that you created is the one you're going to select from this drop down. Now, based on that app, when you generate an access token, it's going to assign this token to this app that you created. At the bottom here, you're also going to give permissions to this particular token on what it can and can't do, because the token should not have a carte blanche ability to do everything for you on Facebook, just the specific actions that you authorize. So in this case, what I did was everything related to pages is what I approved. Now, this is probably a little bit of an overkill. I just wanted to make sure that it works for this video. The one you need is pages underscore manage underscore posts. So just make sure that's there. And the way you add these permissions is you hit this drop down and you select them under here. So go under events, groups, pages, and then make sure pages underscore manage underscore posts is checked. That'll put this permission in this drop down. The user or page user token is there by default and then hit generate access token. It's going to ask you to authenticate, go ahead and say continue and then connect. And now we have our access token, which is here. You can copy it and you can go ahead and test your access token as well by running a get request up here. So make sure the first one is get it's facebook.com version 24 and then change this last part to me forward slash accounts. It probably says something else for you, but you just want me forward slash accounts and then hit submit. And that's going to tell you all of the accounts that you have access to with this particular token and app. And then it gives you the accounts that you have access to in here. And so you can grab your access token from up here for that particular page. Or if you're updating one of your other accounts, you can grab the token for the other account. In any case, our access token is ready with the appropriate permissions. So we can go back to our URL here and go ahead and paste that access token. Now we have the entire URL as we need it with the page ID and the access token. So let's go back to high level and then in our API call, click on that. And then in our post, go ahead and paste the entire URL that you just built. Now for the last piece at the bottom here, this is already going to be on default JSON. If not, go ahead and hit the drop down and use JSON. And then 
Within the curly brackets, you want to put this message. So within quotes, message, colon, within quotes, the runtime variable of where that post was captured. If you don't know this off the top, you can hit the drop down and then go to runtime variables and then pick the generated text. This is the second variable that's going to be created. So you should only have two in the list here. Pick the second one and then hit save. Now we're ready to test. Go ahead and hit test on the top right and then test your agent. And it says, please enter your niche. And so we're going to say pet food, for example, hit go. Now we have our nice long post over here. Exciting times in the pet food industry. Great. Let's go ahead and paste that to Facebook and exciting times. It says your post has been successfully published. Let's go over to Facebook and verify. This is our Facebook. So earlier, about 20 minutes ago is when we did our first one. Let's go ahead and hit refresh. And here's our new one. Beautiful. So there's our workflow ready to go. You can now sell this service within your agency that you can manage somebody's Facebook page. And then you do this over and over again and charge them a nice hefty subscription fee to do this for them. Now, if you want this workflow and you want the complete built-in agency that you can just input, import, set up online, slap your logo on it, set up a domain, and then hopefully start collecting leads and generate some profits within your trial period. We do offer a 30 day free trial as well as a boot camp that you can go through for free. And then you get all of the materials to be successful before your trial even expires. So use our affiliate link in the description below. Join our school community where I coach you one on one to be successful with your agency and then also any other business that you may be considering to launch. Hope to see you soon. Have a good one. If you want to try your hand at doing this yourself instead of just watching, you can use my high level affiliate link in the description below. If you use that, you get an extended 30 day high level trial, hundreds of pre built AI agents, access to my school community, 40 plus business and marketing courses that I've built. You'll have all of my website template that you've seen me create. I'll even hop on a live Zoom call with you twice a week to help guide you and build your business with you. You'll have a direct line to me and also a chance to join my agency and run some of the businesses that I have as well as take on my client. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.